When we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine, we believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paulo for IEC 2016. In what can be described as an explosion of faith, around 10,000 pilgrims gathered once more at the IEC Pavilion for the fourth day of the 51st International Eucharistic Congress. Chants and canticles filled the halls of the IEC Pavilion as Bishop Gilbert Garcera led the pilgrims in the morning prayers. Reflecting on the passage on the Book of Job, Bishop Garcera invited the assembly to ponder on our human nakedness, our helplessness before God because of our sins, thus our profound need for the transforming power of the Eucharist. Pilgrims were treated with a dose of charismatic praise worship led by the Singles for Christ Music Ministry. Filipino artist Noel Cabangon then serenaded the pilgrims. Meanwhile, the Sacrament of Confession and Eucharistic Adoration were held at the IEC Chapel. Salesian Bishop Thomas Menamparampil gave a talk on the Eucharist as mission, mission as dialogue. Menamparampil said, The Eucharist surprises us. It surprises the privileged to go out to those underprivileged, the educated to the least educated. The Eucharist is brought to life through generosity, generosity without limits. Menam Parampil then reminded the pilgrims, when you run short of generosity, come close to the poor. They will teach you. They will instill generosity in your hearts. The inspiring testimony of Paul Ponce on being a Eucharistic family received a standing ovation from the assembly. Pilgrims were not only delighted by the circus performances of the family, many were deeply moved by Ponce's personal sharing. Ponce shared how the Eucharist played a key role in his values formation, his consecration of his marriage and family life, and his deep regard for women. Ponce said, We should value our women. They are our mothers. They are the image of the Our Lady. I needed 10 years of purification to be able to value women because in our society, women are not valued the way they should be. Peter Cardinal Turkson cannot attend the Congress. Jesuit Bishop Antonio Ledesma delivered his talk on the Eucharist and the care for creation. Turkson wrote, There is a spirituality derived from the very act of the Eucharist in that what we do at Mass shapes how we live our lives. The Eucharist should challenge us to overturning some of the selfishness in life to self-giving and surrender of the self so that others may eat and be cared for by the same Lord. In the afternoon, pilgrims enriched their Eucharistic experience as they visited 15 parishes in Cebu where masses, faith sharings, and cultural presentations were held. Pilgrims visited St. Therese Parish, Cebu City, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary Parish, Cebu City, Asilo de la Malagrosa Gorordo, Cebu City, San Roque Parish, Mambaling, Cebu City, Basilica Minore del Santo Niño, Cebu City, San Roque Parish, Subang Daku, Mandawi City. Our Lady of Lourdes, Labangon, Cebu City. Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral, Cebu City. St. Joseph's Parish, Mandawi City. Sacred Heart Parish, Jacosalem, Cebu City. Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish, Guadalupe, Cebu City. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, Cebu City. St. Joseph's Parish, Mabola, Cebu City. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart Parish, Capital, Cebu City. And Gethsemane Parish, Kasuntingan, Mandawe City. A press conference was held in the afternoon. In attendance were Papal Legate Charles Cardinal Bo, Archbishop Piero Marini, Archbishop Jose Palma, Bishop Milo Vergara, Father Vittore Bocardi, and Father Jose Quilo Quilo. When asked what will be his report to the Pope regarding the Congress, Cardinal Bo enumerated the warm welcome, the delicious foods, the smiles, and the faith of the Filipinos. 
Cardinal Bo also reminded the youth the of the importance of responsible freedom to and to prepare poverty. missiles of charity for the Third World War against poverty. Archbishop Palma said that the IEC 2016 the in this Jubilee of Mercy makes us recognize our being yabag or out of tune in our priesthood and we also ask the Lord forgiveness for our wrongdoings. Cultural events were also staged in the evening. Shows include May Time Festival, Southern Faith and Devotion, Single and Happy a Praise and Worship Concert, Mga Dula sa Pagtu, or Plays of Faith, and IEC Choral Festival. The fifth day of the Congress will grace the presence of Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle, who will speak on the Eucharist and the dialogue with cultures. In the afternoon, various activities will be held in different venues. At the IEC Pavilion, after the talk, on belonging starts here, resources and methodologies for spiritual formation of for persons who are deaf is the penitential services to be led by the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines President, Archbishop Socrates Villegas, followed by the Visita Iglesia to seven city churches. The Youth Day, on the other hand, will be held at the Hoops Dome in Mandani Bay, Mandawi City. Activities include Bishop Robert Barron's Catechesis on Christ in the Youth, Our Hope of Glory, workshops, overnight vigil, faith testimony from Paul Ponce, and Don Mass to cap the event. You may follow us on our social media accounts. This has been Father Paulo Asper of the Society of St. Paul for IEC 2016. Bread and drink the cup of wine. We believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory.